Who's here? Come back here. Be prepared to meet your dead son. Ozana. Dead? You killed Ozana. I've gotten more than enough troubling reports about your behavior today. And I want to confirm something. Is it true you bullied a woman of this village? Father. She was blocking my road. A ragged old woman. I merely taught her a lesson about respect. Respect? Respect is air. Not demanded true cruelty. It is not done. That woman is part of this kingdom and deserves to be respected. Just like every other person in this kingdom. Besides, she is old enough to be your grandmother. Father, I am a princess, superior to everyone in this kingdom, old and young. They should be able to accord me the respect that I deserve in authority. Authority? Yes. Authority doesn't come through fear. You're respected to discharge your duties with respect, sincerity, kindness, not tyranny. Or have you forgotten the lessons and the teachings of your grandmother? My grandmother was soft. The kingdom needs Strength, not weakness, father. Adez, our grandfathers knew that the true strength of leadership lies in compassion. But you dishonor the memory of your grandmother. Do you want to turn into your mother? No, do you want to become your mother? Because people hated her. So you want to be hated like your mother? Father, I beg to take my leave. I can no longer listen to this. A desert. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Hey! Are you serious? I was so shocked. Wow. Hey! Me, I couldn't believe it. Because he was just talking, he kept talking and talking and talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah, I really can't wait to see him too. Hey, look, let's see. On your knees. How did my father find out about that old woman? We do not know, Your Highness. No one from this village should dare speak to the king about your affairs. We don't know. Truly, my princess, 
We didn't tell him about it. If I dare find out it was both of you, hmm, I will see that I give you the punishment myself. We promise we said nothing. Please, my princess, we serve you and you alone. Please believe us. I do not tolerate betrayal, especially in my chamber. Get up. Okay. Come back here. What do you say? Thank, thank you, my, thank princess, you, my princess, for your mercy. Good. Now get me herbs to detox this aura of bad energy. Yes, my thank princess. My princess. Oh, Lana, where are you off to in such a hurry? Papa, Papa, you know where I need more important? Just some fresh air. Hmm. Fresh air, you say? Why are you meeting somebody? A, a, a man, perhaps? Papa, I mean, why? I, I wouldn't. Alan. Sit. You see, in our climes, a woman does not chase after a man. It is not our way at all. We don't do that. Rather, a man who is interested in a woman chases after her, comes to her. Hmm? This time, things have really changed, Papa. Papa, I mean, wh why can't I choose who I want? Choosing who you want, my child, is one thing. Chasing after a man, seeking him out, makes you appear desperate. Remember, your worth is not measured by the attention of a man now. Hmm? Papa, I truly do not understand what you're talking about. Yes, a man goes for whatever he wants or likes, but a woman can't. Unless you want it. Papa, I'm sorry, but sometimes it's just so unfair. Life can be unfair, my child. Life can be really, really very unfair. But dignity is the strength of a woman. If a man loves you and cherishes you and desires you and values you and respects you, he will rise and seek you out, not the other way around. So you stay and wait for the man to seek you out. Uh, that is the way of our people. OK, Papa. Let me, let me go inside. It's OK. Thank you, Papa. God, you are okay. I thought by now she would have got you into pieces. Mbako, Osama, mm -hmm. I know you're the one that told the king about what happened this morning. Uh, yes, my love. Huh? Someone had to speak up. Listen, if this princess is not stopped, one day she will, she will, she will, she will, she will kill, she may kill someone in this palace. Huh. Coming from someone that should be protecting the princess. I know, yes, she can be harsh, just a little 
Harsh, I know. My love, Lester. I love this kingdom. Hmm? I am ready to protect this kingdom. Listen, we need a good leader who will lead us well. Not the one who will instill fear in them. Ozona, you are not wrong. But Biko, you have to be careful. Because if anyone finds out you were the one that told the king or you've been the one exposing the princess, it will lead you into danger. Oh, Biko. I've heard. I've heard you. Well... They are not here to talk about the princess. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, no. We are not. Anyways, you always have a way of getting into my heart. <laughs> yeah, 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 but we need to. Yeah, you are not here. May I speak with you for a moment? Neka, what is it? Be fast and continue with your singing. I only wish to advise you, my princess. Perhaps it would be wise if you consider the king's word and show more kindness to the people. Hmm. Are you in any way insinuating that I'm not treating my people right? Yes, my princess. I mean, no, my princess. You are not a bad person. But the way you treat your people... Neka, how do you suggest I treat my people? My princess, you are strong. But strength comes in many forms. Your people will love you more if you show them compassion. As your father suggests. Neka. Yes, my princess. Come here. My princess. Neo. Who cares about your stupid opinion? And who are you to tell me how to rule my people? A mere servant. Princess, I only want the best for you. What's princess. best for me is none of your business. Mind things you say here. Else, I would have you thrown out of this palace. I'm sorry, my princess. It won't repeat itself again. Of course, it will not happen again. Nega, know your place in this palace. Because you should be grateful for serving me in the first place. Get out! Your voice irritates me. Get out! For me, Your Majesty. Uzona, I sent for you. How is my daughter faring? Your Majesty, the princess is still angry. She is trying to know who told you about the encounter she had with the woman. Uzona. Your Majesty. I have a task for you. Concerning the incident with my daughter this morning. Unyeze, what do you want me to do for you? The old woman, my daughter, embarrassed. Her family deserve an apology.
I want you to go. Take my token of regret to them and show to let them know that my daughter's behavior is not condoned by the crown. I will do that, my king. Tell her, the very old woman, that I bring my deepest apology for what happened. And as far as I'm concerned, they have the respect, dignity, protection like all the villagers, that they are quite safe. We'll do that, Your Majesty. And um, you can go, Zona. That is the much you can do for their pain. Thank you, my king. If The sacrifice you make for life cannot be quantified with life itself. You're extremely sweet. Ha, Lupin. Yeah. I wish I could stay hidden here forever. No, we can't too. Hmm? I don't think it will work. There is something important I need to tell you. Something like what? Is there a problem? Serious problem. I want to tell you that this thing you and I are doing can't go anywhere better than this. Okay, what are you saying? I don't understand. Good. Let me break it down so that you can understand. What I am telling you now is that I have a woman in my mind to marry. So, as it stands, I am no longer interested in you. Lupin, I, I, I don't understand. I thought you said you loved me and you cared about me. That's what you told me. So how, how are you just keeping me aside now? What did uh -huh. I do? I love and care about you, but not the way you think. As I, I, I am telling you now that I have another woman. I love and care so much. Even I want to, if she if she says yes to me now, I am ready to go and pay her bride price tomorrow. So I, don't, I, I am no longer interested in you. That's what I'm trying to let you understand. Please. What are you saying? I've given you my everything. I gave you my heart, my chastity. I gave you everything. Same, you same here. Me. I also, I also gave you everything. If you can remember, besides you are the one running after me, Hi. giving me everything, and no man in his right senses they will offer this beautiful property. He will reject. So remember very well. Uzona, Uzona, you will regret this. You will regret this. Is it not better I tell you now? So that now you find it out on my mother's side. Okay, okay. Uh, Obi, it's been a while. I miss seeing you. The other day I was waiting. Mm. I'm so sorry I couldn't make it. Did my father insist that a woman shouldn't chase after a man. And he asked me to go back. Your father is wise. But I've been waiting for you. I was thinking you have forgotten about me. Obim, forget about you. It's impossible. I mean, why should I forget about you? But Obim, it's your job to seek me out, not the other way around. Well, I'm here now. Mm -hmm. And I have something important to ask. What is it, Obim? Obim... Is something wrong? You know you can tell me anything. 
all in there. You've captured my heart in ways I thought not possible. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? What? I mean, are you serious? Oh, oh, yes! Yes, yes, I will! Yes, yes, a thousand times, yes! Yes, please! Oh. Obim. Obim. I promise to love and cherish you for all my days. Hey. Obim, I'm, I'm glad you asked. You've made me the happiest woman today. And I'm the luckiest man to have you by my side. <laughs> Thank Come you. <sighs> Is that how you greet royalty? Dare you stand upright before me? Forgive me, my princess, but this food is too heavy for me to bear. There is no excuse. You should have shown respect in the first place. Kneel! I beg you, my princess. I said kneel and raise one of your hands up. Next time you see Princess Adese, you greet properly. Am I understood? Yes, my princess. Stand. And what do you say? Thank you, my princess, for your mercy. Look at what she did to her mother. My own mother. At her own age. Hmm? I wanted to take up the matter, but the king sent his guards to apologize on her behalf. The princess' behavior today is yet another sign. Her arrogance grows with each passing day. This is indeed troubling. Very, very troubling. Huh? I wonder... What she will do when she assess the throne? She's not fit to be a queen. Hmm. Are you going to defy the king? He already made it clear that the princess will sit on the throne and lead us as queen after he must have joined his ancestors. <sighs> but we, we cannot sit idly. Huh? We cannot just sit idly and allow someone who does not have compassion and wisdom to ascend the throne. We need to talk to the, the king. To, 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 you know, let him know our concern. And what are we going to do? The king is adamant and defying him will mean our downfall. Um, you know we owe our people a duty. Huh? We owe them a duty to, to, to provide a just and capable king. So we must approach the king and tell him to consider. That's a dangerous part. And maybe the only way. The people deserve a better leadership. Then, let us gather the elders. Hmm? Let us gather the, the council and, and approach him. We must act swiftly and wisely. Yeah. We should plan wisely. We should plan wisely. But you know the kingdom depends on us doing the right thing. I would like to become the next king if our plan works. Why do I have this feeling that you have been planning this all along? I'm so tired of her. Her attitude is unbearable. Her attitude is something else. I'm just tired. She's impossible to please. I mean, I know. I know. It's like she derives joy in making everyone's life miserable. When 
Honestly, I'm tired though. I can't take this anymore. Her temper is something else. No one does anything right in her eyes. Hi! She's too aggressive. Mem, I know. I know. It's like she derives joy in making everyone around her miserable. I'm honestly sick of this place, so me, I'm tired. And what is that I hear about hating Princess Adesi? Oh, I'm sorry, my princess. We, we, we only meant that... Silence! Do you think you can speak so ill of me and go scot-free? My princess, we're sorry. We, we're just venting. We didn't mean to disrespect you. In fact, we're not talking about you. Do you think I'm daft? Or you think I don't have any sense that I didn't hear what both of you were saying? We're sorry, my princess. My princess, I'm sorry. We, we honestly didn't know you were there. Please forgive us. You obviously didn't know. And you, Neka. I see the slap I gave you did not help reset your brain. You just gave me a reason to hurt you even more. I will make your life miserable. We are sorry, my princess. We are sorry. By the time I'm done with you two, you will regret stepping your foot into this place. Fools! You summon me, Father. Rise. Yeah. When will this your heartlessness come to an end, Adesa? When will it come to an end? For how long? Must you continue being wicked to people, intimidating people? Don't you know that are your fellow human beings? Don't you have conscience? Don't ever use your position against your fellow human beings. It is not done. For the gods do not use their position against us. I have spoken. I won't say this again. I have spoken. If you don't tell me why you are smiling, I might be compelled to invite a herbalist to find out properly if you are not mentally deranged. Papa, hmm? I have wonderful news. I'm all ears. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> Papa, Obi Jacko will come ask for my hand in marriage very soon. Obi Jacko? Yes. That is a very wonderful news. <laughs> yes, yeah? Papa. I would like to get to know him and his family properly. Oh, yes, Papa. Don't worry. You will get to learn everything about him and his family in due time. Yes, Papa. You see, I'm very much eager to meet with him because a good match is very, very important. <laughs> yes, Papa. 
yes he is he is and he's so special papa papa he's the right one for me and papa don't worry when you get to meet him i pray he's everything you want and hope oh oh in this case i am going to trust your judgment hmm? um uh, we are going to begin the preparations huh? uh, to receive them but receive them properly when they come and then um, make sure that everything is in order. Eh? And I hope you are right. Papa, I'm right and I'm so excited about uh, the future. Yes. Papa. Are you Papa. sure about that? Papa, I'm so excited. Uh, okay, that is He's a wonderful one. person. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, Do you wish yourself dead? I don't bow to women. It is customary for men to be greeted first, not the other way around. How dare you? You must accord me the respect that I am due. Will you get out of here, you arrogant maiden? Who brought you up without manners? Try that again. I'll forget your gender and deal with you accordingly. Do you know who you are addressing? I don't care to know who you are. I will not take any disrespect from anybody regardless of your status. You must pay. You will pay as soon as you find out who I am. Very arrogant human being. Um, yeah, uh, your proposal is a very good one. Eh? <laughs> but I suggest you take it off with the Council of Elders. Yes. Yes. Uh, we that. have to stop the princess. She has to be stopped. Eh? <laughs> oh, 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 he gives us a, 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 a air to the yes. That is what we are going to do. Uh -huh. eh? We don't need all that nonsense the princess is doing. Um, apart from this, uh -huh. there is a matter I've been hoping to discuss with you. What could that be? It's a matter of great importance. Okay. I want to propose that my son, Uzonna, marry your daughter, Olana. How do you see it? Oh, that would have been wonderful. In fact, it's a very good proposal. But uh, unfortunately, um, my daughter Olana has someone else in mind. And in fact, she intends to sh show me the person. She's bringing the person to come and see me soon. I see. I see, Aragua. It's just unfortunate. I was hoping for a favorable outcome. I must thank you for your understanding. You see, uh, I wish there's, there's something I could do about it. Uh, you know, I cannot choose a suitor for my daughter. I understand you. I wish your daughter and the uh, chosen suitor, I wish them the best. But I believe there is something you or a wife can do. There is something you can do as a father, given that we have come a long way. Hmm? And we have a business at hand. Our business is an insurance hmm, for our families to move on. It's an alliance for our families to move on. You are right, uh, 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 but um, uh, you see, there are times you have to allow things to flow their own way. Uh, I cannot choose this for my daughter, like I said, um, but I hope that we shall have other areas of cooperation in the future. Uh, please, thank you very much. So, um, about the other thing you talked.
My princess, how may I be of help? Price. I want you to find out man that I encountered today. The man who disrespected me, insulted me and almost fought me. What man, my princess? Shut up and get to work and do not ask me stupid questions. Yes, my princess. How will I identify the young man? There are many young men in the village. I saw him at Uzoya village. I do not care whatever means you choose to identify him. He is tall, brown skin, and built. I need to know who he is, what kindred he is from. I need his details. Do everything to bring that to me. Yes, my princess. I get to walk. See to that. Because no one insults me and goes scot free. I have seen the woman I want to marry. I have asked, and she has accepted. <laughs> that is good news, my son. I've been waiting to see this maiden you always go off to see. I'm happy you bring her. So, from which kindred is she from? She's not from this village. She's from Omomako Kingdom. Omomako? Yes, Mama. That is quite far. Are you sure she's the one? Yes, Mama, I'm sure. Mama, she's everything I've been looking for. I know she's the right maiden for me. <laughs> okay, I'm happy for you. You should follow your heart. I'm happy for you. Yeah, Mama, you, you, thank you very much. You know, I... I know very well that you don't like anything concerning Umarmaku Kingdom. But I know you would support me. Of course, my son. I'll support you if that's what you want. <laughs> but um, if I may ask, what is her father's name? Uh, Oragwa. Oragwa. Mazi Oragwa. Mm -hmm. Do you know anybody there? No, 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 no. I don't know anybody. No, I'm just asking. And do you know what? Just go and freshen up. By the time you're out, your food will be ready. Okay, Mama. Mm. Let me go and come back. I will tell you more about her. Okay. I'm waiting. <laughs> Mama, she's very beautiful. Though. I'll, you, <laughs> she's <you're>, tall. <laughs> okay, let me just go and just come back. Just go and come back. <laughs> uh, who's on now? Papa. I have already spoken to Oragwa. Oragwa made it clear that all Lana, his daughter, has found herself another man to marry. In other words, she has rejected your hand in marriage. And Oragwa said he cannot force his daughter into any union. Papa, you have to look for a way and persuade him. All Lana belongs to me. I can't afford to lose that maiden to another man. She is the one I love. Um, Uzanna, you know Aragua. <laughs> Can I persuade him? You know Aragua is a very stubborn man. He's very stubborn, just like every other short man. Very stubborn, always stubborn. Eh? He made it very clear that he cannot force his daughter. Papa, we are not talking about what her daughter wants here. We are, we, look, look, we are talking about what your son Want. Eh? Look for a way to convince Oragwa. Eh, look for a way. There, there must be something to convince him for him to agree for me to marry his daughter. Please. Uh, Ozana, I'll talk to Oragwa again. But you know, some things are better left like that because it's beyond our control. Okay, what if after all my efforts and Oragwa is still proving stubborn? You won't try your best this time around, Papa. Oragwa will not refuse you. Megi eh? Jiwurodogu. She is the only one I love. I love all of all Anna so much. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to him again. I'll talk to him. Ah. Oragwa will not deny me this little thing. Not after 
all both of us has gone through. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'll talk to him. Huh? Hello. Um, uh, you will not eat before going back. No, no, no. I'm rushing back. To, I will, in fact, I'm going back to the palace. That palace, that your work. <laughs> I don't know your reason, but I'll need you to find something else. I'm, I'm going to the palace. He's all right. Mm-hmm. Go. Hello. Excuse me, young lady. Mm. Please, can I have a moment of your time? Okay, yes, me. How can I help you? You are Olana, Oragua's daughter. Yes, me. I am Ovijako's mother. Oh. And I would like to speak with you about your intended marriage mm. to my son. Me, darling. <laughs> me, me, what about it? My daughter. Yes. I'll advise you not to marry my son because it won't work between both of you. Me? Why? My daughter, my son has always been firm about not marrying any woman from your village. Me? I told my, my daughter, this is something that cannot be changed. So I advise you to consider marrying my son before it's too late for you. Please reconsider. I've gathered the information you need about the young man. Right. What did you find out? The young man is a stranger from another village. However, he comes to visit this village once every three days. Another kingdom? Which one? I was unable to ascertain the kingdom he hails from. Interesting. He is an outsider who visits frequently. This changes things. Yes, my princess. In case you need anything, or any information about the young man, let me know. I want you to keep an eye on him. Find out everything about his background. I, Princess Adese, wants to know everything. Understood, my princess. Leave. Another kingdom. Keep a close eye on him. He will be passing soon. Yes, my precious. Seize him! 
What is the meaning of this nonsense? By the order of the princess. What princess are you talking about? Release me! I am Princess Adisi, the heir apparent to Momako Kingdom. You dared to disrespect me. Put him in the palace prison now! Release me now! I have not done anything to you! Movete. You cannot put me in your prison! Movete. Release me! Movete. I have not done anything wrong! You must release me! Move it! Move it! I am not going anywhere! Move it! What did I do wrong? Move it! Move it! I am not going anywhere! By the order of the princess, move it! I am not going anywhere! Move it! I demand to be released. There is no law that says a man must greet the princess on the road. I don't even know who she was. Shut it! The princess has spoken. Ignorance is no excuse. You must learn to show respect, whether you know my status or not. Respect is aimed, not forced. Shut up! You must be for your insolence. You can beat me. But you cannot break my spirit. We will see about that. Flog him! Yes, my princess. Release me! I've, I've done nothing wrong! Then shut up. King. Speak. What is it? I am here to report a serious matter concerning the princess to you. Princess? Yes. Princess again? Princess Ades again? Yes, my king. What has she done this time? Your Majesty, the princess arrested a stranger. He has been locked up in the palace cell. The young man was accused of disrespecting her on the road. And he has been flogged. Flogged? Yes, my king. Did you say flogged? Yes. This is unacceptable. Release him. I will do that. Immediately. I will do that, my king. Princess Adez, then. What has come over you? Why are you so intoxicated by power and position? What is the problem? You have been moody lately and now you cry. <laughs> what could the matter be? Papa, <laughs> I have not seen Obijako in days. Papa, he promised to come but he hasn't. <laughs> Obijako? Oh. Uh -oh. Maybe he is head up with uh, one or two things trying to tidy up one or two things, or maybe he might be uh, uh, preparing for the visit, you know, coming to knock on door and all that. You know, marriage is not something you do overnight. 
up. I know, I know Bijak is so well. Okay, maybe he's busy. Or maybe, maybe he has finally listened to his mother's warnings. What one are you talking about? About the woman that came to see me here the other day. Mm -hmm. That's Bijako's mother, Urena. <laughs> but she said I should stay away from her son, that he wouldn't walk out. So, that was Bijako's mother? Yes, Papa. So, why could she have said such a thing? Papa, no clear reasons. She just said that her son will not marry anybody from this village. Yes. Oh, hold on. Is that why you are worried? Relax. Relax. Don't bother yourself, okay? Maybe the gods have a different um, uh, avenue and uh, uh, preparation for you. <laughs> eh? Listen. El Gatono's son, you know, the, the, the chief palace guard, Eh? He has indicated his face. Yeah, and, uh, he wants to come. Papi, I don't want any other person. No, I don't want any other suitors. I only want to be Jacko. He's the one I've chosen, Papa. I'll see me go at one. Me alone. Hmm. Uh, then we'll have to wait, yeah? We'll have to wait and find out uh, what exactly is going on and where uh, Bijako stands in all this. We want to find out his stand. Mm. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you, wait, Papa. Yeah? Thank so, you, Papa. Yeah. I really want to know what's going on and why Bijako has decided to leave me. Oh, come on. Don't worry. Stop. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying, my daughter. Hey. His Royal Majesty, my king, has ordered for your release. Oh, finally. Finally. That way. Thank you for letting me out, young man. If you are coming back to this palace or this kingdom next time, be very careful. The princess can be vindictive. She doesn't forget easily. I will advise you as a wise man. Agree to her demands or stop coming to this kingdom completely. I have done nothing wrong. And I won't let any man or woman detect where I go and where I cannot go. You know, Jobu. Follow me, let me Not show you. Not when I have someone important to me here. You don't talk too much, follow me, let me show you. What is the reason for this meeting? Because I can't remember someone in any of you. Uh, Your Majesty will come with a matter of great importance. As regards to the kingdom, the future of the kingdom. Speak your mind and be listening. Your Majesty, we have been discussing the succession of the throne. We do respect Your Majesty. We believe you should, with, you know, let it be, you should be wiser if you consider another family to take over the throne when you are gone. No, 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 no. You want to share the breadfruit while it is still there, right on top of its tree. Why not wait for it to land on the ground? Why not wait for me to connect with my ancestors? Why now that I'm still alive? Why? Why? Listen, I have a daughter who is of royal blood. Who would definitely marry? And once she gets married, the 
automatically will have someone who is capable of replacing me. Indeed, your majesty. But the behavior of our beloved princess is not suitable for the one destined to be the queen of our kingdom, Omo Her actions has caused unrest amongst the people. Your majesty, no disrespect. The people have been complaining about her harshness, her inhuman attitude towards the people. Which is contrary to your, your, your goodwill and your ideologies in this kingdom. So we are afraid that if she's so harsh, so wicked to the people like this, what will happen if she ascends the throne? So we beg that you consider another path for the stability of the kingdom. I appreciate the concern of both of you. But, in the age of Macago, what do you know now? You don't because of hunger. Comfort, no cause and swallow. Listen, I have a daughter, like I said earlier, she is of royal. Besides, if you want to talk about shifting or transferring kinship from one lineage to another, it is something that must be treaded with caution. Indeed, Your Majesty. We merely speak for the welfare of the people. No disrespect, Your Majesty. Please forgive. If I have spoken. And we have heard, Your Majesty. May we take our leave? Why did you release that insolent man, Obijiako? He disrespected me, and you undermine my authority by releasing him? Shut up, Odez. How dare you? Do you even know the gravity of the offense you committed? No, do you know the meaning, the weight of the action you took? Of course you don't. How dare you? Jail a stranger from another village without first consulting me. Do you know that that alone, that single act of yours could trigger crisis, could trigger problem? between two villages. I do not care about any stranger's village, father. He disrespected the future queen. And that is precisely the reason you must be very, very careful. With everything you do, at this, your actions do affect the crown. And of course the throne. Do you know that whatever you do, how you do it, where and when you do it, could endanger the growth, the future of this great kingdom? In case you don't know, elders are already gossiping, questioning your ability to rule this kingdom. Let them question, Father. I am the rightful queen, the heir to the throne. No one can take that away from me. You cannot be too sure of that, Adesa. You can't be too sure. Listen. 
Your arrogance and brutality is already sowing a discord amongst our people. Oh yes, people are getting tired, people are getting uncomfortable because of your behavior. Becoming a queen is not all about powers, no. It is about wisdom and compassion. Adese, where did I go wrong in raising you? America. I will rule them as I deem fit, Father. They will all learn to respect my authority or face the consequences. Heed my words, daughter. For there is this common saying, common proverb. That water and air the seas while sitting. Youth might climb to the top of an Iroko tree, and yet will not see that. Heed my words. Respect must be earned. I used to tell you that. It's not demanded. Respect is not something you get from intimidation. You don't discomfort somebody so as to earn respect. Do I have to invite a musician to sing it for you, for you to understand the message? Father, I cannot be easily swayed by weaklings or elders. This is my destiny. The, the matter cannot be different in Omo Kingdom. Yes. No. Hello. You see people of Omonta. Yes. When their king died, mm. he had daughters. Uh -huh. The kingship shifted to the next in line okay. to the throne. <laughs> that is how it ought to be. That is what it should be. But in this our kingdom, I don't know. If this king can consider. The king cannot tell us what to do after he must have passed on. Yes. Yes. He is not the one to tell us what Because I'm afraid. Because he must have passed. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Silly elders with pride. I pass you and you cannot greet. No, Princess Adeze. We meant no disrespect. Only that our minds are occupied with matters of the kingdom. Indeed, Your Highness. Please, forgive us for any slights. Occupy the matters that do not concern you. Perhaps. Or plotting against me becoming queen. No, my oh. princess. We were only discussing the welfare of the people. As you know, it is our duty. Guard! Arrest them. Take them to the palace prison. You must learn to respect your future queen. My princess, this is unnecessary. We are your loyalists. Yes. Move it. We, we are your loyalists. Move it. With you two. You move it. Your place. Yes. I don't want to use the knife for you. Move it. Move you it. must move lend it. your I place. Want, I don't want to, use to respect me it. as your future queen. This is disrespect. Push them. Push them. Fools. Move it. Move it. Mama. 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 Hi. Mama. Mama, I, uh, are you okay? What are you thinking? I've been calling you. My son. Obiji Ako. I've been thinking. Must you marry that maiden from Omo Omo Ako? Eh? We have so many beautiful maidens in this village. Must you marry from there? Mama, I love Olanda. I must marry her. Where she comes from doesn't matter to me. She's the one I want. The one I have chosen. My son, what if I ask you to reconsider? To think what it means marrying from that village? Mama, I respect you more than anyone in this world. 
But this is one decision I cannot change. I love Olana so much. I will marry her. Where she comes from doesn't matter to me. My son, if that is what you want, if Olana is the maiden you have chosen to marry, so be it. Thank you, Mama. Your blessing means a lot to me. Mama, this is my choice. Don't be angry. I'm not angry. No more. <laughs> Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! What is up to you, young man? Your Majesty! Speak! Who is after you? Your Majesty, my father has been taken by the princess. The father that was here a few minutes ago? Guards! Yes, Your Majesty. Fetch me the princess immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. A uh, uh, young man, uh, please come. My daughter will soon be here. Guards! Yes, Your Majesty. You sent for me. Ajaze! Is it true? You have imprisoned the elders that left here a few minutes ago? Yes, Father. No! Yes. It is not done! You are going beyond your limits, Princess. Adese! Do you realize what you are doing? You are going beyond your powers. What is your problem? Oh. How dare you challenge the gods? Elders of this land? Gods! Yes, Your Majesty. Release them immediately. But father, hey, one more word from you. I will have you detained in there forever. This maiden again. Just have to avoid this stupid princess. Hey there. Obi Jacko. Why do you turn away from me? I mean no disrespect, princess. I wish to avoid further misunderstandings. You think you are too proud to face me? Or too big to greet your future queen? I have no such thought. Your Highness, I simply wish to keep the peace between us. Mind you, I am not from your kingdom. You are not my queen. Too proud. Who thought you would pay me with this to walk away from me? Unpolished. Have you seen the reflection of yourself before? You are the definition of morning flowers. But that's if your character does not spoil it from the inside.
Are you all right, my princess? You seem troubled. It's not an aroma. Just a strange encounter from even a stranger man. The worker talks about his courage, my princess. Courage, perhaps. Or maybe his audacity to face me without fear. My princess, sometimes courage and audacity are two sides of the same coin. Leave. Obi Jacko, I will uncover you one way or the other. Obi Jacko, the day we were supposed to meet, I didn't see you and I was afraid. I was detained by your village princess and her guards. What? I only had a chance to come and see you today. Uh, detained? How? What happened? Mom, are you okay? My love, it's fine. She was just being cruel for no reason. Obi, I've heard so many terrible things about the princess' cruelty. And I've decided to stay clear her path. You should be very careful. It's fine. I will try and stay away from her path. Yeah, I was thinking you left me for another maiden. Stupid me. Now look. I promised I can only leave you for the best of all lady in the world. Because she's you. Mm. I'm glad to hear that. I wanted to ask, what's your view or your mother's view on you getting or maybe another person getting married to someone from this village? My mother, my mother is not fond of this village, but she supports our union. She just wants the best for me. Why do you ask? <sighs> Nothing, I've been, uh, I've just been curious. I love. If anything is bothering you, you should tell me. We can face it together. I mean, it's nothing. I just wanted to make sure you're safe and we are safe and happy. Don't worry, okay? Okay, Ruby. We will be fine. I'll make sure we end up together. Mm. Thank okay? you, Ruby. But don't bother about that for now. Hmm? The most important thing is I have you here with me. We are together for now. Yes. And about that, I'll be coming to see your father in the next eight market days. Are you serious, Obi? Yes. <laughs> it's true. I'm so happy to hear that. I know. Thank you. My princess, we are ready to accompany you. Where are we going to? Go back to the palace. I'm going on a private errand. A private errand, my princess. Are you sure you don't want us to come with you? No. I can handle this on my own. She has never gone on my own. It's not a problem. I heard that. And for your information, I am capable of taking care of myself. You did nothing wrong. Go back to the palace and wait. Okay, my princess. What will she possibly be up to this time around? Where is she going to? Should we follow her? Follow her? 
It seems like the punishment you got before is not enough for you. Please, let's go. You really have a valid point. Jacko, we need to talk. What is it, Princess Adeze? I don't want trouble. You already know that. I am not here for troubles. I want to tell you something that will interest you. Interest me? What could interest me from you? Hmm. I find you intriguing. I want you to be my lover. Yes. I know you didn't see this coming. But consider yourself favored by the gods. I must refuse, Princess. I'm already betrothed to someone I love dearly. You refuse me? Do you have an idea who you were talking to? Yes. I know you. I know who you are. I'm honored. But my heart, my loyalty belongs to someone else. And nothing can change it. You are making a grave mistake, Obijako. No one turns me down. I'm sorry if this triggered your anger. I must go now. You must pay! Papa. Papa. Hey. I love to see you happy. Now you are grinning from ear to ear. What is it? What, can you share the happiness with me? Papa. Yeah? I finally met with Obidiako. Papa, guess what? He has promised to formally come and ask my hand in marriage. Whoa! Yes. That's a good one. Uh, but. What if the mother does not support him? You know, it might cause complications in the process. Papa, uh -huh. I will speak to Bijaku's mother myself. Okay. I am confident that once she sees me, she will come to love me. Ah. Yes. Ah. Well, I hope it works out you know, because um, marriages can be challenging, you know, especially when uh, opinions of Family members are involved. Ah, uh, what do you think, you? What do you think, you? What do you think? Before you know it, mm. the whole thing will scatter. Papa, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, yes. You are sure me of that? Yes. So uh, this one is going to work out fine. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Papa, let's go inside. I made your delicious Ooh. meal. Ooh. What, 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 tell me about it. Mm, Salah. Uh -huh. With hot morocco. Ah, la kupu otele. Yes, and some dry fish. Minia polia asaba. Hmm. How oh, dare he reject me? Does he know who I am? The audacity to reject me so bluntly. My princess, forgive me to intrude. Are you in love with this stranger? What business of yours is it? Who are you to question me? I'm sorry, my princess. Get out! 
Call me Iguama. He must be. No one rejects me and go on Scott. No one. Yes. Please, I want to ask you a question. A question? Go ahead, go ahead and ask. So now, why can't you consider me? Even if it's as a serious partner. Why? Is it, is it because I'm just a maid? It's not about that. I have made plans for my future. Ihoma, I want to marry from a well-known family, well-respected family, family that has influence. That is what I want. Ihoma, you're just beating around the bush because it's still the same point. So. I'm not good enough for marriage, but I'm good enough to sneak around with her. That is it. I have to tell you that I need a maiden from... In fact... Hey, Mama. Um, the princess is in need of you. Let's go. Okay. Let me... Let me get you. Let me get you. Excuse me, excuse me. What is it? Uh, Neck. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry for calling you back. Listen, you see, this is my back. Azuma Nile. From here down to this, my waist. is hurting me. I don't know if you can I just I don't massage, massage the back of a common guard like you. Listen to me, I'm not a common guard. My father has some cowardice. Nick. My princess, what would you have me do? I want you to find out everything about that stranger, Obijako. Who he is and why he frequents this village. Okay, my princess, I'll do just that. Be discreet. I do not want anyone to know about this. And make sure he does not suspect it then. I understand, my princess. I will gather the information and get back to you. Good. We have an unfinished business to discuss. Why don't we discuss it now? Okay. The debt you are owing me, I think, is high time you paid it. Hey, Guaton, you and I agreed that uh, the repayment has to be made after the next harvest season. Why the sudden rush? Things have changed. Since you have decided against letting my son marry your daughter, 
I have decided to find it necessary to expedite our arrangement. So, this is about the marriage arrangement, eh? uh, But uh, we had an understanding, didn't we? Since it's difficult for you to find my son as a suitable suitor, then I have no other choice than to demand for my immediate payment. Yes. You know, is it not wrong uh, to force this repayment? I mean, this arrangement. Uh, I mean, we had an understanding. Perhaps, or why you might change your mind about the marriage proposal. If you do, uh, we can still forget about this little payment for now. Or maybe even forget it entirely. I have the right to demand for my money anytime I deem fit, don't I? I will need some time to think about this. Uh -huh. In fact, your, your demands put me in a very difficult situation now. Okay. Think wisely, Oragwa. Think wisely. The choice is yours. Don't forget the consequences of your decision. Hmm? And also, don't forget, you might be missing out in falling in with, you know, the next in line to the throne of our kingdom. Huh? Think wisely, Oragwa. <laughs> bye bye, my, my friend. I found out what she asked about Obijeko. Tell me everything. He's betrothed to Orago's daughter, Olana. They plan to get married in the next eight market days. No! Betrothed? To a maiden in this village? That cannot happen! My princess, they seem to be in love. And from what I've gathered, it's a match approved by both families. No! I refuse to let that happen. He belongs to me, not some ordinary maiden. So what do you plan to do, my princess? Do everything within my powers to stop the marriage. He cannot marry Olana. Not while I leave. But my princess, interfering will only make things worse. Because it will turn the villagers against you more. Let them try. I am the next queen of Umuomako Kingdom. And no one can deny me of what I truly desire. You sent for me, Father. Uh, yes, I did. Guards, leave this moment. Yes, I am. Sit. Thank you, Father. Adesan. Father. My princess. I sent for you because there is something very important that I want to discuss with you concerning your future. The future? Yes. What is it, Father? God. Namus no nabu. Abo e gafazid naju. Ebo mwonya anajuya. Onye na anogo. I, 
I want to tell you that time has come for you to have a man by your side as a partner. Such a man will be the one to secure not just the throne, but our lineage and the future of this great kingdom. I already have someone, Father. Really? Yes. This is a good news indeed. And if I may ask, my princess, who is this fortunate man? <laughs> His name is Obi Jacko. The stranger I had misunderstanding with the other day. He is a man of strength and honor, Father. Okay, it, it is a good choice. Quite a very, very good choice. He, he looks like one who will be a very strong husband and um, a very caring partner. He's everything and more, Father. I'm happy. You, it's all right. I do the best I can to win his heart. Yes, Father. Remember, the best way for a woman to get to the heart of a man is through his stomach. So utilize every single opportunity. He's already mine, Father. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Um, I trust you. It's a good news indeed, and it's a wonderful thing. I trust you. I know what you can do. Uh, display the quality in you, the greatness in you. Let him see the quality in you. Handle it with grace and kindness, such that befits uh, the future queen of this great kingdom. Of course, Father. I beg to take my leave now. I have a future king to get to you. Oh, good. Uh, you may leave. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Olana, my dear. Sit. I brought you gifts. I hope you find them to your liking. Princess Adizi, what brings you here with such generosity? Let's see, I just want to show you my goodwill. As someone who appreciates love 
and happiness. I thought giving you this gift would help you reconsider your marriage to Bijako. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the gift. But I have no intentions on leaving Obijako. My love for him is something I cannot trade for material things. I am giving you a chance to align with royalty and to live a life beyond your wildest dreams. Do you know what your life would become without Obijako? I am also giving you a privilege to have me, Princess Adizi, as your friend. I would rather live a simple life with my man than have all the riches in the world without him. You are being foolish, Olana. Leave him, or I will have no option to take you out of the picture. Do what you must, princess. I'm not leaving, Obijako. Not for you, and not for anyone. No one rejects me and goes scot free. Mark my words. I've made my choice and I stand by it. Give me. What is it? I am asking you a question. Uzona, you made it clear to me that you do not want to have anything to do with me. So let me be happy, Numaka. I am asking you, what business is the princess up to this time around? And why is she so angry? Anyway, she has her eyes on somebody. And who is that, if I may ask? Ha. She has her eyes on the stranger and she wants him for herself. Uh -huh. And this same stranger is saying no to her, right? Of course. That's why we went to Olana's place. Because she went to want Olana to stay away from the stranger. Olana? Yes. Hey, what? For what, Olana? Apparently, Olana is set to marry the stranger in eight days, and the princess has warned her to stay off the stranger. Uh -huh. Olana. So, uh -huh. Olana. Obiji so you are the one. You want to take my woman away from me. Who's on now? Hey! So it is because of all Lana that you rejected me. Anyway, it serves you right. Ubi mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was even pitying you, not knowing you are the one that wants to take my woman away from me. Ubi Jaco. Ubi Jaco. Listen to me. I want Olana arrested immediately. My princess, the king wants us not to arrest anyone without his knowledge. I already informed my father. 
You dare question my words? Hey, my princess, we will carry out your order. Good. I want her brought at once. Take one of the guards with you and make sure none of the villagers see you. Especially her father. Yes, my princess, I will do as you command. Olana will know her place. No one dares a daisy and go scot free. Why are you blocking my way? Is the king ahead? Olanaya, the princess has demanded for your presence and you must come with us right now. I go nowhere. Yes, I know my rights, and I won't be intimidated by the princess. Shut it! The princess have ordered us. We need to follow them. I won't go anywhere. I won't. I, I demand to see the what? king! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I demand to see the king! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! You have cost me a bit of bread. And I will make sure you learn your lessons. Princess Adisi, I have done nothing to you. Why are you treating me like this? What wrong have I done? You insulted me. And you must pay. I will make sure that my guards flog you uncontrollably until that obichako. And no longer recognize you. And then he would have no choice than to choose me. This is not easy. <laughs> no matter what you do to me, I will never leave Obi Jacko. I love him. Shut up! Your love means nothing to me. The more you resist, the more pain I shall inflict on you. You are going to go without food and stay here for days. And that your so-called useless introduction will not hold. I will endure all the pain. I will endure it for my love. Someone should call my father for me. Someone should call my father. Shut up. <laughs> Please, you need to act fast. The princess has arrested Olona again. Eh? Please, you need to tell the king about it so he can release her. His royal majesty has given instruction not to be disturbed. So, I will tell him when it's necessary. Uzona. Are you aware that Olana's life is at stake? You need to do something about it because at this point, I don't think she can come out alive. Like I said, it is not in your place to interfere. When the time is right, I will tell the king. Uzona, so you're just going to let this happen? Because then you know what the princess is capable of. Olana's life is at stake. Like I said, when the time is right, I will tell my king.
You are a maid from the princess. What are you doing here? Oh, Did she send you? No. Upichiako, I have something to tell you. Olana has been arrested. What? Are you sure? Yes. I, I, I overheard the guards speaking about it. They have imprisoned her. But please, don't let anyone know I am the person that told you, Biko. I would be in serious trouble. That stupid princess. She has gone too far. You have to help Olana. Her life is at stake. Please, you have to act fast, Biko. I won't let her suffer. I must go to the palace. Yes. But be, oh, be, be, Biko, please. You, you have to be careful. Please. Princess Adese is very dangerous. Be careful. I will never be scared of that little rat. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Hi. Please, I need to see the king. The princess ordered us not to let anybody get into the compound. It's very important that I see the king. I need to see him this minute. Please, I need to see the king. <laughs> Your majesty. Young man, meet me please. What is going on? Your majesty. I learned that the princess has imprisoned Olana, my future wife. What? Why should the princess do that? Your Majesty, I don't know the details. But I think it's because I refuse to be her man. I refuse her to be my bride. God! Release her immediately. Thank you, Your Majesty. Okay. Thank you, Your Majesty. My love. Sorry. Are you okay? Thank you very much, Your Majesty. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. I want to see the princess immediately. Yes, Your Highness. that she has a chance with you. No, never. All our meeting has rather been chaos. <laughs> Only a psychotic person would find attraction in our meeting. This is getting out of hand. She's relentless. How can I compete with the princess? Olana, you don't have to compete, okay? You don't have to be in a competition. I will never leave you. Yes. Unless you don't want me anymore, I will stand by you. We are stronger together, my love. Then let's hasten things up. Let's move our introduction ceremony to the next six market days. We can't continue giving the princess a chance to tear us apart. Yes. We'll hasten things up. We'll finalize everything before she does anything else. Our love cannot be shattered by a male selfish affection. I have to talk to my father so he can speak to the elders and ensure that the, the introduction ceremony goes smoothly. It 
we come together beautifully. I cannot wait for us to be recognized as one. Well. Neither can I. Obim, this is the beginning to our forever. Okay. Obim. Obim. Obim, it's okay. I'm here for you. Hmm? Don't oh, use it to the princess. Bro. No, you are not using me to anyone. No, I love you too much. I cannot treat you for anything. If I don't even know, I'm going to start fighting the princess. You don't need to fight. I'm the one to make my decision. It is you I want. And I want you forever. Hmm? Hmm? She was relieved. Before the princess could make her stay away from that useless Obijako. Eh? Now, how do I get a chance with her? What, what, what do I not have as a man? Oh, no, no, you have to accept me. Yeah, yeah, you must, you must. Eh? By the way, who even told that useless idiot? That she 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 was locked up in the in the in, in the palace prison. Hey, eh? What's on now? So you hid the arrest from the king because of your own selfish reasons, eh? Because you wanted Olana to yourself. Hi, Feleme. You won't understand. I thought if she realized there was no hope for Bijak. She will see me as an option. Oh. What's on? So you think arresting and keeping Olana here will win her love for you? What's on? You cannot force love. Eh? That's so pathetic. Hi! Well, I was the one that's called Obijako. Mm? Mm, because if not for me, you still have that maiden in this palace. Hey. You Mm-hmm. So, you betrayed me, Ihoma. You ruined everything. <laughs> Zona, I only saved an innocent girl from your twisted plans. Mm. Zona, you cannot force love. Let her go. Eh? Bikonun. And what about you? A desperate maiden. Who is throwing herself over a man who doesn't want her? Is that not what you are? Uzona, at least I know when to let go. And you should too. Oh? I know when to let go. What do you know? Tell me, what do you know? You, you think love is everything in marriage? Listen to me, you have to ally with a recognized family if you want to belong in this world. You see that very maid in color, Lana? She is my target. <laughs> Anyway, your plans are spilled, oh? Because Obijiako and Olana are getting married. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Uh -huh. mm. And do you consider what is going to happen to you if the princess realizes that you were the one that went and called that idiot? And you realize what will happen to you when the king realizes you hid the arrest from him? Hmm. Ew. Ihoma. Have you gone mad? Laying your filthy hands on Olanna. Do you think being a princess makes you untouchable? Baby Jacko, please listen to me. Do you know what you stand to gain? Do you know what you're rejecting? Being the next king of Omuomako kingdom. 
know what you stand to gain? The wealth, the power, the respect. Like the one you have right now. Hmm? I don't care about your power. I don't care about your wealth. At least if you are to be the last maiden on this earth, I will not marry you. But why? I can give you everything. The next time, the very next time you lay your hand on Olana, I, Obijako, will be the one to deal with you. I will beat you mercilessly. You will forget who you are. Says my boots. My princess, let me help you. My princess, my princess, my princess. leave me alone. I just want to help. Please Get help. out. Rise. He sent for me. Who's on now? My princess. There is something I want you to do for me. It's something very important. What is that, my princess? Bring Obijaku to me. Make sure no one knows about it. Not even my father. My princess, this could be dangerous. Besides, your father, His Royal Majesty, has instructed that he doesn't want Obijaku to be disturbed. Or... I don't care. Bring him to me. I am going to reward you handsomely. Name it. Whatever you want. I will give you. Land. Cowries. I can give you anything. My princess. You don't need to reward me. I will do it for free. Why would you want to do that? I have my personal reasons. In fact, let me say it here. My princess, I have no love for Obijako. Hmm. Consider this a favor. Good. I want it done weekly and quietly. I can't have anyone interfere this time. Consider it done. I was on my way to your house, sir. I'm on my way to your house. Um, Thank you, man. Uh, thank you, man. Uh, how about your home? I hope everybody's fine. Uh, everybody's fine. Uh, I'm on my way to your house. I was coming to discuss a matter that has lingered for a very long time now. Uh, what could that be? Ugwan Wijim, that my money, that money I was coming to tell you that it's a high time you paid it and you are going to pay it within two days from now. You know that I, I don't have that money now. Eh? I, the, the, the crops have not yielded as expected and the market has been unkind. Eh? Give me more time. Let me... Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Time is what you no longer have. There's no more time for you. Eh? You have to pay this time around, you know? 
our law is very clear on that. If you don't pay within the agreed time, I am free to take my money within any means possible. Eh? And that includes taking everything you own. Everything. Egwatomi, see, all I want to ask for is a little more time. Just give me a little more time. That will pay you in full. I'll pay you in full. Eh? It's no. All right, what? There is no more time. I have been more than patient. You have to pay or I will take what rightfully belongs to me. Pay up, Oragwa. Egwatomi, please. Eh? I, 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 the understanding, eh? Give me a little more time. Let me raise the money. I, look, I, I ask for leniency. It's not a... Justice is what you will get. Pay what you owe or face the consequences. Goodbye, Oragwa. You will die here. Thank you, my princess. Is this all you can do? Don't you have other skills? Reject Olana and accept me at this as your bride. Never. I will never leave Olana for you or anyone else. You are trading on a dangerous path. I'm sure you do not want to pay with your life. I'd rather die than betray all I know. You can never force love. You heard what the princess said. So, do the need. Do your worst. Do your worst. It will never change my mind. You think I'm scared of you, Oda? No, I'm not scared of you. Ah! Dare you challenge my princess? Hmm? Ah! 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 You don't want me to get married to Obi Jacko anymore. Eh? We already made plans and the marriage is just in a few days. Hold on. Hold on. Papa. I have decided and that is final. Hmm. Listen. I will not let you marry outside this village. Eh? Obi Jacko's mother. What is she saying? My son cannot marry outside that village. So, now you want me to allow you to marry outside that village? My friend, I have said that that is final. Don't even ask me about it. You are not going to marry outside that village. Papa, okay. you already gave your blessing. So what changed now? It is not fair. I will not discuss this again. I will not talk about it again. I won't even think about it again. Papa, you talk about it. That is it. Please, that's all. You talk about it. It is not fair. It's the position is not fair. How can you, how can you just say, huh? Well, you talk about it, oh. I'll run away. Can you just pretend that this thing is not fair? I don't even know what you're talking about.
I just saw the princess come out. Then you. Is that is that somebody's voice I'm hearing? Listen, go back to the palace. What are you doing here? So Sona, did you arrest the teacher Kunzi? Hmm? So you now work for the princess. And I'm sure the king doesn't know about this. That's why you kept him here instead of the palace cell. Elzona. Listen to me. I do what the princess wants. Is that so? So arresting people unnecessarily is what the princess wants, Elzona. You were supposed to be telling the king what she's doing so that he can do something about it and not joining her. And it seems like you're even enjoying this. Listen to me, Homa. The princess has promised me a lot. Ooh. If I do this for her, I will not be leaving a reputable family before you get married to. I believe you understand what I mean. And how is that my business? How is that my business, Uzona? Oh, you think you can pay me off for your atrocities, eh? Asegi, Ishibu uh -huh, uh, Now, listen to me. Ivoma, if you want me to get married to you, I want you to keep your mouth shut. When I mean shut, I mean don't pretend as if you did not see anything that happened. You understand me? If you want me to get married to you, I believe you understand what that means. Mm. But you have to promise me that you get married to me. <laughs> Listen to me, Jacob Markham. I will get married to you. Hmm? And make sure you pretend as if you don't see anything. You understand? Okay. You know I love you. And I am Happy Marka, leave me alone. <laughs> Look, I will come and marry you. You understand? Okay. <laughs> okay. Leave me alone, please. I will not try it. I say you did not heed my advice. Why do you want to come into a family that does not want you? Why? Mama, is Obi Jacko home? I have something urgent I really want to discuss with him. My son is a very busy man. And at times he stays for days without coming home. He is not home right now. And I suggest you stop looking for him. Mama. I really need to see Obi Jacko. Eh? I know we've planned our marriage, but something, something is about to go on. Something wants to happen, Mama. And cancel the marriage. There has always been something in that your village. It will not work out. It will not work out. Don't you see? Mama, why do you hate our village so much? What did we ever do to you? I have nothing to say to a mere child like you. Just stop looking for my son. Stop! I love Obijako so much and I'm not ready to give up on him. You are just so young and naive. Sometimes love is not enough. There are so many things you don't understand. Maybe I don't understand. But one thing I know is that Obijako and I will stay together forever. Mama, I'll keep coming to look for him until I tell him what's really going on. Why are you doing this? Are you doing it because of the friendship? Because I heard the king telling you to inform him of any of our mysterious acts. Are you now telling me to disobey the princess? Who's on now? What do you want? Because I already told the princess that I cannot leave all I now. So, did you? The princess may want to arrive. Obidia, I want you dead and gone. Why do you want me dead? What wrong have I done to you? Are you not aware that if you are no more, all Amna will have no choice than to marry me? Oh, you are the guard 
that wants to marry all our men. Oh, boy, I'm the one. And you think killing me will solve your problem? Yes. You will come. You very big one. We are not. We will guide you. I won't let you or anyone else come between Ola and me. Ah. You will die here. If you kill me, the princess will hunt you down. She will come after you and all the members of your family. Mm. Jack. I think you are wise, right? We shall see. We shall see nothing. We shall see nothing. I am the one in charge. I am the one in charge. I am the one in charge. Okay. Man, listen to me. Oh, my God. There is a way you talk to me now. I will, I will, I will cut off your hand. Are you, are you mad? You are dragging the woman with me. You are the one. Come on, come on. You better come and release me from here. Ozona, you better come and release me from here. Why are you so happy? Um, or has Obija agreed to marry the princess? <laughs> no, my love. That young man is still proving stubborn. Eh? His heart is as strong as stone. So that means you should be sad. Because whatever the princess promised you has been cancelled. Look, Usona, I just think it's time to let him go. Um, my love, I am a master of than one. Listen to me. I will do that. I want you to take this food to him so that he will eat. I don't want him to die inside that prison out of hunger. Mm -hmm. So it's better you release him. Or better still, give it to him yourself. Please don't involve me. Do not involve me. Because yeah, I have Maka. I have a 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 Maka. Listen to me. You know you are a man. He's a hero. Odogu can go. You understand? I, I don't want to go. Uh, sorry, I can do it myself. But I don't want him to. After everything I did to that young man, I will still go and serve him food. He will see me as a weak man. Uh, please just give him this food so that you will eat. Hmm? Biko, as for releasing him, I will do that tomorrow morning when the princess is still asleep so that she will then the young man escaped. Are you sure? I will do that, my love. <laughs> anyway, I will just help you out and give it to him. Uh, but if anything goes wrong and he tells the king, you won't see me there again. Listen no? to me, that is why I love you. Nothing will go wrong, eh? You know I love you. Smile, look at it. <laughs> Just make sure that he finishes this food. I don't want him to die of hunger. I'm a very good man. No problem. Let me, let me go and give it to you. Okay, 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 okay. Make sure only him finish the food of it. I brought you food. You need to eat to get your strength up. You, you might be free tomorrow. No, it's not possible. The princess won't let me go. Yoma, please. You have to help me. Free me, at least. Reach out to the king. Tell him that the princess is at it again. Maybe Jack, I can't. If I do that, the princess could kill herself. She's obsessed with you. And if she finds out I helped you or went to the king, that could really end badly. Then find another way. Reach Olanna. Tell her where I am. She knows what to do. Yoma, please, you have to do this. Baby Jack, I don't think I can do that. 
I can't. Ihoma, if you have any kindness left, help me reach Olanla. She's the only one who can save me. I will try my best. But Obijiako, I can't promise you anything. Obiko, just have have the food first, please. Ihoma now is the one we have. You will be fine, please. I'll, I'll... dying. You you won't die. I'll try my best. Can, can you help me open? Night to Bijako. Obijako. Yes. What? The princess has gotten him arrested again. And this time it's even worse because I'm not sure the king knows about it. What? No, 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 no. Again? I have to go let the king eh? know what's bam, happening. Bam, 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 bam. No, what? no, no. What? You can't go. Eh? Why? You can't just go straight to the palace. They've ordered the guards to keep you away from the palace. Why? They've ordered the guards. Then what do you want me to do? I mean, I can't just let her torture him like that just, now. Just, just, just calm down. Okay, okay, I'm calm. You have to look for an elder. Eh? When you find an elder, an elder will be able to grant audience from the king because if you go alone, nobody will listen to you and you won't be able to see the king. Yoma, Yoma, you're right. You're right. I have to go tell my father. Yes, I think he has enough influence to let the guards see exactly, us through. Exactly. Wait. 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 But you have to be careful. The princess is too dangerous and your life is at stake. And this time, she's not ready to let Obichia could go. Yoma. I will not let her have him. Never! I'm going to save my man. I'm going to let the king know about this. Thank you for telling me. You're welcome. Me tell my Please be careful. Oh. Hi. Hey. <laughs> I need to say. That's. I need to see Obijako, please. He's been held here unjustly, please. You're not allowed to enter this palace. The princess has given her order. Stop back! Say, he needs me. Obijako has done nothing wrong. Please, please, please. You have to leave at once before we push you out. The princess has ordered we should not allow you to enter this palace. Or see you around the premises. Please. Leave before I push you out. Please, no, don't do Leave it. before you kill the rocks. Hey. Please, please don't do this. Leave at once. Please, dear. Hey. Oh. Rise. Make sure she doesn't enter this palace. If I can't have him, no one else will. Mama! Mama! Oh. Mama! 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 Hey, Mama! What is it? Mama! Obijako has been held at the palace by the princess. Yes. The palace? Yes, yes. The princess? Mm. What has my son got to do with the royal family? Mama, the princess is brutal. If you don't act fast, Mama, they may harm him. I, I don't want to set foot in that palace. Just go and get me my son now and alive. Mama, please. Your son needs you. I came to you because you're the only person that can save your son. Mama, if you don't act fast, it's finished. He needs you. Obijaku needs you. Please, Mama, let's it's go. Okay. I came to okay, you because okay. you're the only person that can save him. I'll do everything anything for my son. I cannot sit back and watch them. Take it. Mama, let's go. Mama, thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>
Hold on. I brought you something. Something? Yes. I brought you food. Consider it a peace offering. Oh. <laughs> you, you like it? Yes. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. This yam is very delicious. And where did you get it from? Um. I just took out some of the yam you asked me to give Obi Jacko, since it was too much and it would be a waste to just throw the yam away. So I decided to bring it to you. Is it what? I said I took out some yam from Obi Jacko's food to give. Ah! Hey! Inoma. What? You have finished playing. The same year my poison. Poison kwa? Hey! Uzona, which poison? Uzona. Uzona. Which poison? Wait, sorry. Does that mean you poisoned Obija? Uzona. What is happening here? My princess. <laughs> Uzona here poisoned Obija yam. So I swapped it and gave him his own poison. What? Princess. You poisoned the only man that I truly love? Oh. Why? Princess, I need help. That's right, my princess. I need an antidote. That's right. He wanted Olana for himself, and that was why he poisoned the bijak. <laughs> Let him die. Let him die. You deserve to die for plotting against the love of my life. Iwoma, you have done well for yourself. You have earned my loyalty. Thank you. I will personally reward you. Your Majesty. Good day, Your Majesty. I've come to speak with you about my son. Yes. Urena! Is this you? Honestly, I thought you were dead and gone so many years ago. Your Majesty, as you can see, I'm very much alive. I came to speak with you about my son, Obi Jacko. Yes. The princess has taken him hostage. Yes. Honestly, I have no idea of what you are saying. There was a time Ozona mentioned something like that, but that was then, not anymore. Urena, as we speak, the palace prison is empty. Your Majesty, I know your daughter wants him for herself. Despite knowing he is betrothed to another. Please, release my son. He has done nothing wrong. Please, yes. Your Majesty. Please. Yes, Your Majesty. Urena, you seem to be so sure of what you are saying. But, but like I said, I am not aware of anything. And... Um, I am not even aware she has taken such a drastic measure again. Your Majesty, she's telling the truth. The princess has held Obijaku against his will for a very long time. And she has also inflicted several punishments on him because he refused her No, advances. speak no more. This madness <sighs> must come to an end now. Guards! Your Majesty. Go on! Release Obijaku immediately. If the princess resists, arrest her! Move! Thank you, Your 
Ai, mă Nana, na na ba na ba na la chan de sa kana na ha fa ba ne ni You don't lick your fingers in a hole you're not going to hang them in the street Do you really mean you want to go because we have a lot to talk about Yes your majesty I have to go and be with my woman She had to go and see her father your Majesty, there is something you must know, and you, Obijako, a secret that has been kept for a very long time. Secret? Secret? Yes. Okay. Um. Uh, what? What could it be, Ren? Your Majesty, Obijako is your son. I was a child when I fled this palace many years ago. The queen found out my condition and sent the guards to kill me. Thank to the gods, I was saved by a man from Mumuchu. Mother, yes. is this really true? You mean the man I called my father all these years is not? And he is my real father? Yes, my son. His Majesty is your true father. Uwe. Ubijaku. Be Jack, my son. You have my blood, royal blood running through your veins. You are the true heir apparent to the throne of the kingdom of Umomako. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but this is too much for me to take. Sorry. Oh, my son! Princess Adeze. You are my... You are my... Please. <laughs> please. Just help me beg my father. Tell him that we changed person. I've changed from all my wicked acts. I am changed, please. The king already asked me to release you. You are to prepare for the coronation. Coronation? Yes. Open it. You think you have won for making me Princess Adese 
go through this inhuman act. I am going to deal with you once I'm crowned the queen. I will make your life miserable. You are your worst princess. But for now, you need to get ready for the coronation. <laughs> Please, come. As none of them is a job, but after rain comes sunshine. <laughs> Today is a very great day, a remarkable day in the history of this great kingdom, Umuomaku. The day I am going to announce to you, in accordance with the dictates of the gods, the direction of the gods, who, of course, will be taken over from where I stop. If I may, Your Majesty. We, the elders of Umuomak, have concluded that the Princess Adeze is not fit to become our queen. So we are here to tell you that the kingship will now shift to another family. This so is outrageous. I am the next queen of Umuomako Kingdom, and no one can stop that. It cannot Your happen. Silence. Sometimes it is better to allow water to get settled to the bottom before you drink it. Don't always be in a hurry so you wouldn't run faster than your chi. I have a son. You have a guinea? Hmm? I have a son. Obi Jaco. Obi Jaco. The ghost are always wise. They have their ways different from the ways of men. What Your is majesty. going on here? <laughs> Obijak here is my son. Urena is his mother. Urena left the palace with pregnancy. Something came up. Her life was in danger. She had to run for her dear life. She escaped successfully and the ghost took over from there. The gods, in their wisdom, piloted the affair. And today, here and now, these are the result of the good work of the gods. By the dictates of the gods, you are hereby blessed as the true apparent to the throne of this great kingdom. Mumako. Father, how can you do this to me? Oh. <laughs> the ways of the gods are not the ways of men. It was never about getting the throne, but earning the throne. I 
I cannot allow this happen. No! You have no option, my dear. Nature has allowed it happen. No man questions the gods. We can still win this. We can still I can help you fight the drone. I can help you, please. I can marry any of your sons. I can even marry you. Fiawa, be God forbid. Marry you. I can never have you in my family. See, any man that marries you doesn't love his life. Damn the throne. Fear. Okay. Be prepared to meet your dead son. Ozama. Dead? You killed Ozama. of gold and glory where the shadows hide the truth she walks with your heart of fire a burning with a dream to suit her eyes are sitting 